Hey guys, John here. Today we have a rather uh, large unboxing from thecubicle.com. Thanks to them for sending me this stuff, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so right away we have no idea what that is. Um, and we've got a lot of bubble wrap here. And here we have the stuff. So we've got the Shengshao or the Zeng Zeng so, however they, however they are uh, saying it now. Uh, the new clock, essentially. Um, we've got, I believe, this is, yeah, this is the bag, the cubicle um, drawstring backpack, which is great. Um, this is a lot bigger than I was expecting, which is pretty cool. We've also got a Mystic MGC 4x4. A YJ Yuhu V2 Megaminx, and I've already got one of these, but um, for setup purposes, I got a second one. And then we've got the thing that made the package so big, a display, a speed stacks display, which is awesome. So I'm planning on using this uh, for my video, so I'll have this setting up. I mean, it'll be somewhere up there if I'm recording here or somewhere else in the other room. Um, but yeah, so... And there's the bag. There's not really much to talk about with that. Um, it's pretty. Seems pretty tough. It's got this nice zipper. That'll be cool. Um, I think I saw a post somewhere that said it can like hold 42 three by threes or something crazy like that. So, so that'll be cool. Uh, especially for cops when you don't want to carry around a massive bag. Let's check out the clock. I'm really curious to see how this. I've heard mixed things about it, but I currently don't even have a clock right now. So, alrighty, and <laughs> right away. Um, that's not exactly good. So yeah, it's not even going to be able to turn because of that. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, so if you can see there, it seems to be dislodged. So we can, uh, we can take a look at that later. Yikes. Oh, look at that later. Here we got the Mystic MGC 4x4. And this should be exciting. It's got a little Mystic sticker there. Comes with a cube stand, and here we have it. This is definitely a, a smaller cube, as opposed to, I've been using the Aosu uh, GTS 2M, so I'm used to, so this feels just a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, let's get into some first turns. So it's a little bit drier than I would expect. Or it's not uh, dry, kind of like a sandy feeling. Um, oops. Um, I'm getting some slight locking up, but that's probably because I'm bad at four by four. I feel, yeah. It's just, it's not because of the cube. It's just because I'm bad at four by four. Um, but yeah, it's definitely got. I've played around with uh, Mystic a little bit, and definitely has the that plush feeling that you would expect. Um, slices feel good, which is always nice, especially for uh, four by four when you're doing all the, when you're doing stuff like three, two, three. So yeah, uh, it's nothing crazy out of the box. Um, but considering that this was, I think it was like $26 on sale, um, on the cubicle, as opposed to like 35 for this new, um, this is solid. I need to do some breaking to, uh, just get the lube all moved around and to just, you know, break the puzzle in a little bit, uh, but really promising. Yeah, parody just flows on that. That's good. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we'll set that off to the side here. Um... We'll unbox this here. I've already, I think I already have an unboxing of this on my channel, but it'll be good to have a second one. This is interesting. I don't remember this packaging though. Alrighty. Yep, super fast out of the box. Um, very fast actually. I was thinking mine was fast with the setup, but that's probably because I was uh, used to it. So for comparison, I have mine set up with, I believe, um, it was Mac stuff, and then 
and then I threw something else in there. I think it was uh, maybe Mystic, but yeah, I mean, super, super fast out of the box. I mean, like, since I'm used to this one, it's um, a little bit too fast for me. Um, yeah, no, I mean, out of the box, this thing is so incredibly good. I mean, definitely better than the GAN, definitely better than... I mean, whatever else, whatever else is that there is out there, uh, the Galaxy V2, V2 LM, whatever. Um, this is super solid out of the box. So, and I think it's only like 13 bucks. So, definitely recommend picking one of those up. Um, <laughs> we'll come back to that. And then here we have the display for speed stacks, like this. Here we uh, have it. So we've got, of course, the display here. This feels really weird having one of these in my hands because I'm not used to uh, <laughs> not used to seeing these. Um, and then we've got our thing here to attach it to the table. So when you set it up, it'll slide on. You probably can't see it. It'll slide on to here, and then um, it'll be up there. And then we've got a charger here, which is interesting. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was battery operated. And then, yeah, that's it. So let me check the box here. Ah, okay, so you have you have two choices. You can either um, install it so it's either double A batteries or you can uh, plug it in, which is nice. That's good that there's an option for that. Okay, so it takes eight. Batteries here. Let me grab the very handy uh, the Chi screwdriver uh, that comes with the Bell V2. is super useful, especially for this kind of thing, because it's got all these extra, extra, uh, extra types. So you can go on ahead and drop that in here. Alrighty, alrighty, and it is working. That's always good. Alrighty, now we can grab my stack mat here and just test to make sure that it works. That would be uh, ideal if it worked. And then, that into there. And it works. Cool. That's always good. So yeah, that is the speed stacks display. So that'll be good for some uh, comp sim down the road. Um, next, we're going to take a look at the, this clock, and we're going to see if we can figure out um, why it's like this. And so what's kind of nice about this clock is that it's got these uh, these screws here, so you can take off the case. Alrighty, so now this should just come off, and it does, which is cool. And then this is the sleeve there, and I don't think it matters which way it goes on. Slide this off. The entire thing comes out, okay. So there's that. Okay, so after doing that, I was able to fix that problem. So that should be okay. But now, we got to reassemble. I don't remember which side was which. Back onto here. And it won't turn. Oh, now it does. Oh, there we go. Very, very stiff. Very stiff. That's not good. And the pins won't. Yeah. I mean, at least the pins stay. That's cool. As opposed to my old wing owl that doesn't stay. Um, well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, wait, never mind. Yes, it does. I just, I'm just bad at clock. Um, that's going to need some serious break-in. Because that... Uh, Pretty much hurts to that doesn't hurt but it's quite the uh pain to turn so that's gonna take a little bit of break in but um yeah at least it's functional so that's good and the pins don't drop so that's cool okay so it's been about a week since i've got these cubes and i've had a little bit of time to set them up and break them in so here are my thoughts now
So for the 4x4, at first, it didn't seem like there was all too much lube in there, but that was because my previous main, the Alistair GTS 2M, was over lubed, which was my fault. Uh, but after a while, I got used to it, and I couldn't be more happy with it. So the cube itself is super crunchy, but the Mystic Lube helps to smoothen that out a little bit. The loose tensions and combination of fast lubes give it a quick and soft feel that's super enjoyable to solve on. I've been averaging like 20 to 40 solves per day, which is 20 to 40 more solves than I normally do, if that tells you anything. The clock has become significantly less stiff with some solves and a max lube setup, which is probably a little overkill, but it's still not great by any means. Sometimes I'll get uh, problems with the pins not moving or with the gears not turning, uh, which really hurts my times. It's good in the sense that it's a mass-produced magnetic clock, which makes the event more accessible, but that's pretty much where the good stuff ends. The Mega Minx is super good, as expected, after setting it up with Max Fleet and Command, it's my main by a long shot. One of the only issues I've been having with it is the size. So because it's so big and there's the distracting circle pattern on each face, my look ahead is significantly worse compared to the GAN. Over time, it's gotten better, but it's still a little annoying trying to find pieces scattered around the cube, but that's also just a part of solving Mega Minx. The display has been fantastic. It looks really nice on streams and stuff like that. I'll end this video with a clip from Luke Fanley and Ham and I's match a few days ago that was really intense. It was a... Uh, a 105 for me and then a 103 from him for him to get the point. Massive thanks to the Cubicle for sending me this stuff. There will be links in the description to their website and also for all of these products. Thanks for watching. Go! Oh, 105. Go. That could have that could have been a lot faster, but I'm Ooh. A 105 <laughs> with an amazing reaction too. Somebody please clip that. Yeah, Luke sorry, doesn't use any was... inspection on this one. Oh, what, what was that? What's the one? You can't win with a 105!